I think planting is going to start today. And I think I know this because I'm drinking coffee by myself at the office table where they are usually drinking coffee. So I've already got the call to bring tools to the field. I don't know what's broken. It's been a slow start this year. And because we got four and a half inches of rain, our fields were actually perfect just before that rain. And now they went kind of backwards. It kind of went hard and clumpy and not real conducive for a good seed bed. Always wave at guys and track. I think we got that fixed. We had to add the roller on the back of the cultivator because the ground is so clumpy and gross just to smooth it out and, and squish down the clots. They think they messed it up on the measurements a bit so we just had to move a tine like a what the heck are they called? I'm gonna call it a tine because I can't the, the, the word is not the word is escaping me so it will match the roller basically. And now I'm off to town to get a water trough for my cows thought of that word. Shank. God, I have Alzheimer's or something. There's something going on up here and it's not probably good. Shank. Finally went to town and got some parts from Mark. He blew a coulter on the strip till. I uh, finally got my water trough for my cows so I'm going to work at that this afternoon. Unlike boys, I read these. Ah, familiarize yourself with all the automatic float valve components. Open the loose parts bag and inventory the contents. Hell, oh. this is the washer. Okay, done. Oh, I have shit on my hand. No, it's on. No, it's on the instructions. I don't understand. Who the hell's my cutter pin? Maybe. So it should go in there. How do I get it in there? Oh, look at that. <laughs> no, that did not go in. You stupid thing. There. All right, and now what? And slide the cotter pin through the housing. Oh, I should have read that. I should have read that part. Spread the ends with large cotter How? With pliers. Oh, I don't have pliers here. Now I gotta move the pliers. Pliers. What the heck? I'm trying to split a cotter pin. Like, in there. Can you see? I have to get those in there. Oh, I got her actually. Shocker. Now what instructions? The float assembly should put it freely on the cotter pin inside the valve housing. That should work, right? I think that should work.
turns on, the question is, will it turn on? Our little beef venture is actually not for money generation necessarily. I grew up on a dairy farm, so I love cows. The beef cows were Mark's idea, and then we've kind of fell, fallen in love with them. We love the Herefords, they're quiet. So they're just, I love watching them outside. It like totally makes my day. Every morning I look over and they're outside in the morning and at night. Sorry, there's a bug on my phone. It totally distracts me. So that's our little beef history. Hey, I freaking love them. I think I did it. But I feel like I do rely on people to do stuff like this. And I am just as capable. It just takes me like an hour, two hours longer. Now if these cows don't destroy everything, rip it off. They are very impressed with my skills, I'll tell you. Oh, that's kind of a moment. I love cows. Guys are awesome.